Chile's northern coastal town of Coquimbo has successfully hosted five matches at the FIFA Under-17 World Cup, but being situated on what geologists call the Ring of Fire recently triggered its own earth-shattering challenges. It's been just over a month and a half since we had the biggest disaster and natural catastrophe of the last hundred years in Coquimbo. After an 8.3 magnitude earthquake, a tsunami hit the southern area of the region. Hundreds of people became homeless and the next day it was terrible to see all the destruction caused by the water. Kimbo had been totally destroyed. The whole situation was very upsetting and it was difficult to face up to all the damage. This is a fishing region and all the fishing boats, nets and materials were destroyed and the financial impact of that is going to be very severe. 40,000 people were evacuated before the biggest set of waves struck. The first set of waves were only around half a metre in height. That allowed us to keep evacuating those people who are in the most danger to the areas that were in the safe zone. Then we started to clean up and rebuild. We didn't just have to rebuild the material possessions, we also had to rebuild people's strength and will to keep on living and working. Our people have lost absolutely everything. They've become destitute. Chile is known for its seismic activity, and in the aftermath of the earthquake, questions were raised about Coquimbo's ability to host the matches. At the time, there were lots of people who said that Coquimbo wouldn't be able to do it we wouldn't be up to the task. But we began working straight away, both with the local committee and the FIFA committee, to make sure we all knew what we had to do. Before the tsunami, we'd already planned this World Cup well in advance. And alongside FIFA, we decided to host it anyway, as a way to boost the morale of our people and also as a way of taking people's mind off what was happening along their coast.